Hi, it's me again. We're gonna print something today. Guess what we're gonna print? We're gonna print a nice 24 by 36. Let me get the frame we're gonna print in. You don't really need to see the uh, contents because I'm gonna get rid of it. But this is how big it is. Ta-da. Okay, so 24 by 36, two foot by three foot. It's gonna be a big one. So what are we gonna print? Let me get that out. We're gonna print this nice picture of my daughter from a couple years ago. If it will go to the right screen. Helps if it goes to the right screen. All right, there we go. So we got a nice picture we're gonna print and I hope that it looks nice on my wall. You gotta print otherwise you waste the ink. So might as well print. I've already got this picture perfect in Photoshop. I don't even know that I did anything to it. There's a little, little speck or two. I don't really care. The imperfections are fine. This is, you know, I, it, it's pretty close to straight out of camera if I remember right. Okay, so first things first, we need to make sure we're printing on the right thing. This is from our last settings. 24 by 20 is wrong. We're going to go 24 by 36. 24 by 36 landscape. Uh, nope, I want 24 by 36 portrait. Okay, now I need to rotate. I, I need to hit right click and then rotate. I'm gonna rotate left just because it's more appealing. I need to left click to change my slot size. I also want this to be um, 24 by 36. And then I'm going to come down here to the corner and I'm going to bring it in. Nope, now that's moving that. I don't really want to print borderless yet. I've never done it. I don't really feel a need to do it. What I want is this to be um, 34. I want the... So right now that would be an inch and a third so that's two thirds of an inch on the sides and one inch on the top and the bottom that's probably fine i don't think we'll really notice the big difference between uh, a third uh, two thirds of an inch and one inch um, between the tops and the sides tops and bottoms and the sides okay we need to make sure we're printing on the right things let's go through our checklist red river premium mat that's correct Two, uh, two, two by three on roll one. We've got uh, print quality high. We've got center alignment, custom registered layout, apply to all pages, image slot size. We've got the ICC profile. And let's just double check. Okay, soft proofing. I don't think we talked about this last time. Soft proofing lets you see what it looks like closer to reality because the color gamut on a picture and the color gamut on a print aren't going to be the same. So if you click soft proofing, it uses the ICC profile to tell you um, what it might look like once you print. So it kind of adds a little bit of, uh, it actually adds a little bit of nice gold to the, the edges around here, um, which I like. Um, Overall, I think it's going to be fine. Let's just double check. Zoomed in close. I think that's going to look great. Okay, so this should cost about uh, $5 to print. It's going to be nice. Let's see how this works. Okay, so... This is printing, sending the image over to a printer which says, wait momentarily. There it goes, now it's, now it's printing. Okay, this says it's gonna take about six minutes to print. Wow. 
I am really impressed with the quality that's coming out of this. I am so excited to see this behind glass. So we printed it. I've learned my lesson from the last couple of times I've printed where holding a camera and trying to grab the print, I bent the print a little bit. So this time I'm going to pick it up with two hands and let the camera stay on the tripod. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just love this. Oh, let's turn the lights back on. I had some video, or not video lights, but uh, <laughs> these are just regular modeling lights on my flashes. So this is two foot by three foot. I am very impressed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's take a look at the detail on that. Let's get that up a little bit closer. And let's put this behind glass before we break it. Um, so one thing I've noticed is even with the printer doing the cuts, this particular paper, 84, no, 87 pound paper, you see little, see if you can see that there. Yeah, see how the paper's not quite straight? I'm not sure exactly if that's me or if that's something else, but. The, uh, the paper doesn't always stay perfectly crisp. I think that's because it's only 47 pounds per uh, whatever the unit is, square acreage. Okay. Let's put that down. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, backer off. That is some nice, that's a nice art to, to watch. Uh, I am so excited to be able to print this big and share beautiful art that I've been able to make in the past. This is something that, it's been on my Instagram. I look at it every now and then, but now to be able to actually put it on my wall is gonna be something else.